Hi everyone, welcome uh, to West Explains Best. We're doing a geometric concept in Khan Academy today called Reflect Shapes. Let's go ahead and start with this. So we have to plot the image of quadrilateral ABCD under reflection across line L. So as you can see, line L is right here. And then the shape that we're required to reflect is this one. So we have to move the, the green one with uh, the shape with the green vertices. So it's reflected across this line. So let me first just move this out of the way. Okay, you can move each one of these vertices independently. Now, what does it mean to reflect? What it means to reflect uh, across a line is that the reflection, let's say uh, we have this point here. Okay, we're trying to reflect, I'll call this point X. Once we reflect it across the line, what happens is the line will be reflected with the same distance on both sides. So imagine this line L is a mirror. Well, if it's a certain distance away from the mirror, X is, then the reflection of X, and we'll call that X prime, is gonna be the same distance away. And that's true for a mirror. If you're looking at a mirror, it looks like you are the same distance away from the mirror as uh, you are actually standing. So this has to be the same distance across. So if this is three units, this needs to be three units. And then this also needs to be perpendicular. So a mirror reflects exactly perpendicular, and that's an actual true property of real life mirrors. So that's something we'll need to keep in mind also. With that in mind, let's take a look at A here. A, we'll start with A, is two units away from the line of reflection. Okay, so line of reflection is this yellow one here. So if it's two units away, that means we need to reflect, uh, hold on, I wanna erase this actually. So what I like to do is I like to just count. So if I'm two units away, one, two to the line, it's a vertical line, so I just need to count perpendicular, which is horizontal. I just need to count two more to get to the reflection of A, and we'll call that A prime. Moving on to B, we'll see that B is one, two, three units away. So we need to reflect three more units in the same direction to get to B prime. C is right on the line. So if it's right on the line, then we don't go anywhere for its reflection. Okay, so that would be C prime would be right on the uh, right on the line of reflection, and then D would be one unit uh, one unit to the line, so one more unit on the other side. That'd be D prime. So our shape reflected would look something like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and move it. Uh, what I would do is I wouldn't even uh, get the scratch pad out. I would just count um, with the tools that you have here on the main. Don't do the scratch pad. See the scratch pad. Don't worry about that. I would just do, well, my, my guy's being stubborn now. Okay, hold on. There's my A and there is my D prime. Okay, so then the shape look, looks like that. It looks like it's reflected the shame, sh shape just backwards across the line of reflection. And we got it. Okay, now we have a different shape. Again, this time I'm just gonna use, I'm not gonna use a scratch pad, but I'm just gonna count. So here's A, okay. A is one, two units to the line, so I need to go two more units down. Again, you want to continue in the same direction. So A, from A to the line of reflection is two units down, so I need to go two more units down to arrive at the reflection spot. B is one, two, three, four, five, six line, or six units down to the line. So I need to continue that. One, two, three, four, five, six units across the line of reflection to arrive at its point of reflection. Then one, two, three, four, five for C. One, two, three, four, five for C. And it made it my 90 degree angle. I know I did it right. The proportions of the triangle look good and I can check it out. All right. Where a uh, plot the image of triangle ABC under reflection across the y axis. This time it doesn't necessarily, necessarily draw the line of reflection for us, but we know the y axis is this guy right here. So now we're just going to be counting to the y axis. So the y axis is here. We're going to be reflecting across. So let's start with A one, two, three units to the y axis, one, two, three units across. Now, another thing you can do is once you reflect your first point, you can go ahead and re just redraw the shape. Oops. So I know that this triangle has a side where, I'm gonna read, what I mean by redraw the shape. So I know this has a side where that little short side, AC, is just two units uh, up and down, straight vertical. So I can get this guy going, straight vertical, two units also right here, see that? And then I know that 
B is one, two, three units to the left, one, two, three, four units down from B. So I'm just gonna do the opposite. Three units to the right, four units down. So it looks like I drew the same shape. Now, if you don't like that, you can just do the same thing, reflect each point, you know, get the, the same reflection, or you can just reflect one point and then redraw the mirror image of the shape with the same dimensions, okay? So that's another way to do it. And I'll try that one more time. So this time we're doing the x-axis. So x-axis, of course, is this horizontal axis. So we're counting vertically to get to the line of reflection. A is only one unit away, so I need to go one unit down to the x-axis and then one unit across. Now I have my A, uh, and I probably should use a different, it's, it's struggling there. It was having a hard time understanding which point. Okay, so there's my A. B is one, one unit down from the x-axis, so I just go one more unit across. Now D, this is where it gets interesting. D is, oh boy, this thing is kind of fussy. D is one unit up to the x-axis, so I need to continue going one unit up. There's my A, so I had to move that. And then C, C is my last one. C is one, two, three, four, five units up from the x-axis, so I need to go five units, continue going up, one, two, three, four, five units up, and it should look like that. So it can be a shape that crisscrosses like that. The main thing is, let me erase this. Sorry, I wanna make this more clear. So again, A was one unit down, so I continue to go one unit down. B, same thing, and then D, we had to go up, so we have to continue going up for our reflection. C was one, two, three, four, five units up, so we continue going one, two, three, four, five units up for its reflection, and that should be good. So sometimes you redraw the shape, sometimes it's easier just to count to the line. <laughs> all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to watch more for geometric concepts that we cover. Um, really appreciate your support. Tune in next time. Oops, I didn't mean to hit done.